Bruce at fighterkitecentral.com and today we're going to talk about uh, carbon fiber rods that you use for making a bow in a fighter kite and how the best way to orient them in the kite and why you even need to worry about orienting them at all. Uh, first, the carbon rods when they're produced, they're not produced for the purpose of making kites. They're produced to be used as reinforcement in uh, composite laminated panels used in cars and planes and other uh, uses. And in that use, whether the rod is actually truly round or whether it's uniform or whether it's straight is not very critical. And so when they're produced, they're produced with that use in mind and they, what we end up with when we buy them we think they're round because they look basically round. We think they're straight because they look basically straight. But they're neither round <laughs> nor straight. And it's easy to see it. Uh, some are much worse than others, of course. Each particular piece is a little different. But uh, if you simply put it on a flat surface, this is a glass tabletop here, so, and you roll it, it doesn't very often roll well. It stops. The reason it stops so quickly is because the rod itself is curved slightly. There's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> That's just how they are. <laughs> and they still work great for kites. There's no uh, real problem with that. We just need to realize it and work with it. The issue of it not being round around its uh, axis, its uh, circumference. Sometimes you can just roll it on a table and you can feel that there's actually flat spots on the rod around its circumference. Well, all of that stuff is important for really one reason, and that is that you want to kite when you make it using one of these pieces of uh, carbon for a bow. You want the kite to have equal tension on the right versus left side when it's flying. And the best way to assure yourself of that is to make sure that the rod you're using before you install it in the kite, that you create the orientation for the rod, that it, that it's, that it is its natural orientation for that particular piece of carbon fiber. And the way to do it, and the way to identify when you have it and when you don't, if you just hold the carbon rod in your hand with uh, your thumb and index and first finger, like this, just loosely, and then bring your hands together to bend the rod as though it would be bent in a kite, very similar, the rod automatically rotates around its axis. And in this position, it is the natural bend. And if you want to see what it's like not in this natural bend, grab a hold with your fingers tightly to the rod on both ends, or just one end, and just rotate your hand outward or inward, and you can feel the rod rotate in a jumping, non-uniform manner, indicating that it has areas that are stronger and weaker along its uh, length and around its circumference as well. And so by orienting the carbon rod so that the strength of the rod is forcing the bend to be what I call its natural bend, you're going to have the best chance of having equal tension on the right and left side of your kite. And using pockets of some sort to install the bow or using a bow setter allows the bow to find its orientation, its natural bend, before you glue it or tape the uh, kite skin to the bow. Uh, so that's one benefit of using that technique. If you don't do this with your bow, there's a good chance that the kite will end up being, uh, well, it'll fly fine, but it'll always veer to one side and it'll veer that way sufficiently enough where it's virtually impossible, in some cases totally impossible, to correct the veering 
with adjustments in the tuning of the bridle or the addition of weight. Uh, it's that dramatic an effect on the kite. So it's a very simple process to get it, uh, get the carbon rod oriented correctly, but many people aren't aware of the irregularities in the carbon rods that we buy and use for making fighter kite boats. Once you understand it and are familiar with it, uh, there's a good chance your kites will actually perform better when you uh, fly them, and you'll know why. I hope this is of some help.